Hi guys, today I'm doing a Q&A. This might be part one and part two, I'm not sure yet, depending on how many questions I get throughout the rest of the day. But so far, this is part one, if there's a part two. So I ask for questions everywhere on Snapchat, Instagram story, regular Instagram, maybe on Facebook and on Twitter. So if you're not following me in all those places and you want to ask me a question, then go follow me there. Everything will be linked down below. I'm just gonna go through the questions as they came in. Obviously, I don't get a bunch of questions, but we're just gonna start off at the beginning. My first question is, what's your favorite song at the moment? My music taste is super random. I like a lot of ACDC from way back in the day. I really like Billie Holiday. I'm really loving jazz, like old school jazz, not new jazz. I mean, I have all my long-term favorite songs, like, you know, Hit Me With Your Best Shot is one of my all-time favorites. A Drop In The Ocean. But recently, the song I've been singing the most Okay, so I don't, I've never heard of this person before, but this song I'm pretty sure was on Vampire Diaries and I just watched all Vampire Diaries all the way through again in like two weeks. I have a problem. But the song is called Keep Lying by Donna Missile. And it's like a really intense attitude sassy. I don't know, it's like not my normal type. It's kind of mixed with like old school attitude sassiness of music mixed with like a current current music too. I don't know, you just have to hear it. I'll link it below the song on YouTube. So I really like that song a lot. I mean, I don't know that it would be my favorite, but at the moment I've listened to that a lot. Someone asked me how you cut your own hair. I've been sharing that a lot on Snapchat and Instagram and stuff that I've been cutting my own hair. It's nothing too drastic. I did a whole hair removal video a couple of weeks back, which I will link below where I talked about how I cut my own hair. If you want me to do like a dedicated video to it next time I do it and like really show you everything, let me know. Really, I just watched like 10 different videos online and kind of put together all the parts of all the videos and just kind of figured it out on my own so I feel like if you're that type of person it's really easy to do but if you're not then you might just want to get your hair cut normal someone asked me most youtubers have been having issues with YouTube do you feel the same or what are your current thoughts on YouTube at this point in time yeah I definitely have issues with YouTube you know they they range from small issues to huge issues small issue would be that my thumbnails don't show up and maybe you guys see them but I don't see them <laughs> they're just like the gray screen with the little dots on them and that's annoying and you know view counts aren't always accurate sometimes I'll try to leave a comment or respond to someone and it won't let me post it little things like that like they're just kind of annoying like I get that every social media platform has issues Instagram has something like that too but my big issue I did a whole video about how YouTube wouldn't monetize my sexual assault video now it's gone to the point where I can't even argue with them anymore they just completely shut me down so I did a whole video about that in a blog post about it I'll link both of those below if you want to hear more about it but really I'm I, like as much as I love the YouTube community and love being on YouTube and sharing how I can YouTube has really made a lot of steps back in my opinion instead of, you know, going, moving forward, which you think it would be since the majority of YouTube's creators and people who bring most views to YouTube are millennials and people my age who are, you know, very progressive and very forward thinking. And YouTube, I feel like has gone back and gone with like the older white men's generation instead of moving forward, they're moving back in my opinion. They're making things more limited and instead of, you know, giving more freedom and giving more equality and openness. I feel like they're shutting people down more. They don't want people to talk about sensitive topics. And whoever is running YouTube made that decision are definitely a bunch of older white men. I think it has to be. There's no way it's not. And I get that we're lucky that we get to do what we do, especially people who do this for a living, but it's still a lot of work. And you have to be dedicated to it and passionate about it. And it's a lot of work and you spend a lot of time, especially for someone like me, who barely makes any money off of YouTube at all. Like not even quarter of the amount of a minimum wage job but I spend like full-time hours on it so it's kind of annoying there but the community is just what makes it worth it like I wouldn't keep making videos if I was that mad but I am <laughs> and we'll see hopefully they advance and do better and then my feelings will change and my friend Curran asked me a ton of questions she always leaves me the most interesting unique ones so thank you and her first one is favorite eye color I think it depends on the person but for the most part I'm gonna go with like brown or like brown hazel I just think that brown eyes go with literally everything you could wear anything and it looks good and I feel like you can be tan or pale and it looks good like I feel like my blue eyes look super weird at certain times and they're like so light it's hard to wear certain eye makeup but I feel like when you have brown eyes you can get away with a lot and also hazel eyes I just think are gorgeous that kind of like green and some lighting and have a blue tone and like a gold tone and they're kind of like a warm like a vampire color I think that brown is definitely good it's kind of like if you ask me what color I like to wear the most like I'd always pick something super neutral like I just feel like it goes with everything like you can't go wrong with brown eyes and also whenever you see kids and like babies with big brown eyes like oh my god you just want to squeeze them yeah I have baby fever okay so favorite Jennifer Aniston movie 
That one's hard. Okay, I love Jennifer Aniston and I feel like I love I love like old school her, but like the newer movies she's done, I feel like she's so funny. When I was in sixth or seventh grade, I was obsessed with friends and I actually wrote a like four or five page paper on Jennifer Aniston's life. Like I looked up her history and everything and did a whole paper on it. Like, I was obsessed with Jennifer Aniston in middle school. The Bounty Hunter. I feel like a lot of people said that that movie was really bad and it kind of was. Like it definitely wasn't the best romantic comedy. The ending wasn't the greatest, but I just thought their acting was really good. I would love for to see them in like a but in a good, more serious drama movie. I just feel like their chemistry was really good. The next question is describe your dream kitchen. Wow, okay, so you know how some people could get an apartment or a house and like have a kitchen that works, it's like fine, but I'm not that kind of person. I love to cook and I love to bake and I just like the space and the, the openness and the brightness in a kitchen. So my dream kitchen, I have a ton of dream kitchens on Pinterest. If you don't follow me on Pinterest, definitely do that because I can way too often. Like every time I have a free moment, I'm pinning stuff. There's a lot of different styles I like. I do like the new thing where people use like black cabinets. I think it looks really cool. Wooden floors, like warm wood, gray lower cabinets. Countertop would be at least of the island would be a like wood, like a wood block. A lot of stainless steel appliances, brightness, lots of windows. I don't know, just look at my Pinterest, you'll see. Like I have a general a general style. Okay, what language sounds the most bizarre? Ooh, that's hard. English, right? I mean, obviously other languages sound weird to me, but I always thought Russian and German. German probably sounds the weirdest, I think. I think French and it Italian and things like that are very, not easy to understand but like they sound good and then I think any kind of Asian language is really cool sounding I don't know I, I want to say just English because English sounds the weirdest it's the less the least fluid in my opinion and like every other language kind of flows into each other and it sounds beautiful or it sounds really interesting but the most bizarre has to be English and like American English too because even the accents that other countries have in England or in Canada or even Australia, like English just sounds so much better. And I think in America, like in an American accent, which I think is just the most like basic, um, it sounds the weirdest. And I think that the way we use words and the way that our words are formed and grammar is super weird and it makes no sense. It's confusing. And I don't know how I ever survived grammar and I wanted to be an English teacher at one point. Next question is really interesting. She said, if you were told you've somehow already met your husband, who would you want it to be? Oh god, that sucks. I read- I remember reading an article or taking a quiz that said like, when will you meet your husband? It was like, you already know him. And I was like, no. Zero percent never. So, I think if my future husband is someone I've already met at this point, it would be someone who I forgot I met. Someone who I must have met in passing or, you know, got introduced to once or someone who I don't even remember. Like, that's who it would have to be. I couldn't be anyone that, like, I actually know because Oh, that would be awful. No, that would be so terrible. That was a good question. Favorite eyeshadow. So I don't know if she means specific color or like a brand. My favorite eyeshadow is probably the bomb. The bomb just is amazing. Like I never knew, like I've always heard people talk about it, but I never knew how great it was. They sell it at Kohl's, which I find super convenient. And I have the Nude Dude 2 Bething palette. I really love the quality of the shadows. They have really unique colors, things that you don't always see from other brands. I feel like they really suit my eyes and I just really like them. So probably anything from the bomb. Okay, so here's her last question. Have you ever thought of cutting your hair short? Yes. I have cut my hair, I don't know what she means by short, like short, short, but a couple years ago I did, around four years ago, I cut my hair like here. I don't know that I would go that short again, but I just didn't find it as flattering. I felt like by a couple months in, I was like over it, and then I had to wait for it to grow out. Now that I cut my own hair, I probably wouldn't do it again because I don't want to go and get it cut because they just never do it 100% right. Like you're paying money and they just never do it right. Even when you like tell them like, oh no, can you do it a little bit more? They just, it's never enough. And I feel like when you do it yourself, yes, you can make a mistake but if you do it right you're doing it right like you know exactly what you want I feel like it depends on what my style is at the moment like right now I'm going through a very casual style and I feel like if I cut my hair short it wouldn't match my vibe like I still want to have that like very feminine long hair but if I was going into like a more like floral like lacy like dainty fashion style at the moment I might cut it short again but I feel like right now since I'm going through such like a tomboy stage wearing a lot of sneakers jeans t-shirts wearing very minimal makeup I like my long hair I think it goes better with that vibe I'm going for at the moment yeah so that was my Q&A I guess we'll see if there's part two you're gonna find out in a week or so if you did enjoy this please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to follow me on my social media
idea so that you know next time I do a Q&A so you can ask me questions and stuff. And if you didn't know I was doing this and you want your question answered for the next one or part two, you can always leave a question below as well. You can reach out to me anywhere, even if you want a question answered and I'm not doing a Q&A, go for it. That's it for this video, so thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to see more from me, and I'll see you next time. Bye!